Cash Yamaha Marine in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Northeast large express dealers and one of the large express dealers in the nation. I'm Andy. I'm the express guy here at FNS. If you contact us, more likely you'll be speaking with me. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of a 2023 Express H18 Bass. This is their 18 foot H18 series uh, with their hyperlift hull. Like all Expresses, of course it has a custom made aluminum trailer that's made by Express and fits the boat spot on. Comes standard with aluminum rims, LED lights, side guides. And most of the H18s we sell come with 115 Yamaha VMAXs, which is the max horsepower for this H18. It's uh, speed wise is uh, high 40s to 50 mile an hour, depending on the day with a 115. Like all of the Hyperlift series boats we get here at FNS, we order them with jack plates. Uh, this one is a uh, six inch manual jack plate. The Hyperlift pad style hull works considerably better for performance, hole shot, top end, uh, if you get a jack plate. And that's why all the boats that I order, I'll get jack plates, whether it's a manual like this one or a hydraulic. Other upgrades, uh, base star hydraulic steering, stainless prop. Now I mentioned the hyperlift pad hull, and what that means is that at the very back bottom of the boat, there is a pad. That pad's about 12 inches wide and about two feet long. So when the boat's running fast wide open with the uh, motor trimmed out, the only thing that's in the water is the pad. That makes the boat go faster, and it makes it ride better because very little of the boat is in the water. But with that hyperlift pad haul, uh, it works better for performance wise if you get the motor uh, up and away from the hull a little bit. And that's why we run the jack plates. It also helps little things too, just with clearances of cables as well. Apologize for the mess of the cabling. This one's not PDI'd yet. So we make things very neat when we PDI them. Along with the hull, you also uh, get, take note to the uh, reverse chines, which makes the boat very stable. Uh, not only are they very wide with a 95 inch beam, um, but with these reverse chines and the, and the width, you can have a couple big guys walk to the edge and it rocks very little. And they also turn on a dime. When you turn the wheel of one of these expresses, they will turn immediately. There's no skipping. They turn uh, and they'll bank in very, very sharply. This is a silver color with silver spray and liner. Spray and liner is standard on all expresses and that's this uh, bed liner style that you see on top decks. Uh, it is sprayed everywhere, liberally, underneath all the hatches, in every hatch. Uh, just little things like that make the boats uh, quieter ride and more stable as well. And then this is an example of what the hull, how the hull is configured. So what you're looking at here, at, this is the bottom of the boat where the sticker is. You have cross channels that run throughout. This is the floor with the spray liner. And then there's foam sprayed between the floor and the bottom of the hull, the whole way throughout the boat. It makes a very quiet ride. Along with all, this and everything else with the hyperlift hull, that's why Expresses rival many fiberglass boats in the industry as far as ride, performance, and handling. You'll see they have quite a reputation and they live up to it. Every Express boat here that we get at FNS, we PDI them very thoroughly before you receive it. Uh, that's just part of the boating industry, not just Express, but there's lots of little things that need to be addressed and fixed before each customer gets it. And then we also go to the water uh, and water test before you receive your boat because there's certain things we can only test in the water. Live well fittings and propping and uh, jack plate height and that type of thing. And then we also go with many customers to the water as well to show them how to use their boat. Not everybody takes us up on that, but quite a few do. We show you how to run your boat and explain everything. The H-Series uh, 18 and 17 come standard with C-Deck. If you're not familiar with C-Deck, that is the floor covering that I'm pointing at. Uh, so basically C-Deck um, is a floor covering that's very nice to walk on, gives you lots of support. It's easy to clean, uh, excuse me, um, it dries very easily, hooks don't snag in it, 
Uh, and down the road, if you damage a panel, like this panel here, you can just buy that one panel. So basically it has all the advantages of carpet with none of the disadvantages. You see the dash? This boat was upgraded uh, from the standard fish finder up to a Humminbird Helix 9 MSI. Other upgrades, you can see the switch panels here. Lights kit, so all the compartments have lights in them. The live well is lit and there's a light in the side of the console. That's an upgrade. Next switch is recirc live well. So again, that's an upgrade. There is a separate pump at the live well for recirculation and also for pump out. Next one's your standard live well, uh, bilge, nav lights, and then your main power switch. Gauges, you have your water pressure gauge, fuel gauge, and on the other side, your tachometer and your trim gauge. I didn't realize until after I started making the video that I forgot to put in the rear fold down seat of this boat. <laughs> but it comes with a rear fold down seat and then also a butt seat as well. Choking in the boat. If you can take notes of the video, but these boats, like I said, are very wide. For an 18 foot boat to 95 inch beam. Rod storage, middle storage with tubs. This boat was upgraded from the standard Edge Minn Kota up to an Ultrax 80 MDI with iPilot. Of course, recepts foot pedal. All the H18s and 17s come with a cooler. That's this bag that, uh, that's up front. In addition to the fish finder and trolling motor that's on this boat, we do a lot of upgrades here at the shop too. We add front mount fish finders. Uh, multiples, if, it's, if that's what you have in mind. Uh, shallow water anchors, we do a lot of upgrades with many expresses here at the shop. Um, feel free to contact me and I'd be glad to explain uh, your scenarios and what's best to put, get an idea of what you have in mind and kind of steer you in the right direction. We do either Humminbird, uh, Minn Kota, uh, or Garmin, uh, trolling motor fish finders, and then also a lot of power pole uh, anchors uh, and chargers, a lot of lithium battery upgrades. If I'm here to help, feel free to shoot me a line. Standard is a thick C-deck middle seat. And you can upgrade to a fold down seat if you would like. Every Express comes standard with Yamaha power exclusively. The package is exclusive with Yamaha, uh, which is nice. It gives us a little better warranties, like for instance with the throttle shift controls and that type of thing too. Rear deck. Back here in the rear compartment is where the fuel tank is. It's an 18, 18 gallon fuel tank. And then this is where the batteries are housed. Onboard charger. Another upgrade that I do with this boat, this has an auto bilge pump as well. So you get two bilge pumps. You have the manual and then the auto bilge pump is hardwired. That way if you're mooring it or if you ever get water in the boat at all, it'll automatically pump it out. Most boats, I get that with them. Live wells behind the seats. This here. More storage. This is where your tackle trays can go. You can see the shelving inside there. This boat is currently for sale, and then we also have uh, H18s already on order. Um, we welcome special orders. We'd be glad to walk you through that. I make info sheets that help explain all the options and help it un more understandable. It is kind of confusing. Express has a lot of option possibilities, and I'm here to help, and I'd be glad to send you that and explain. Uh, but then we usually try to have boats in stock, and then we also have boats already on order as well and what that can be reserved. And depending on where you're at with the order process with the boats already on order, they can be changed into what you have in mind as well. 
I appreciate you watching. Our contact information is at the bottom of the screen. Feel free to contact me with any questions. Thank you.